I've got my example text here and I want to create my own section to help break up my document. You can create a heading by just going on this drop down. As usual, the larger the heading number, the smaller the text is. So header four. In terms of the text size, it's almost the exactly the same as normal text. It's just in bold, so it's maybe not the most eye-catching to use. I would typically use header three. It's a bit bigger and it's not too big like header two and header one are almost the same size as your title. So they're perhaps a bit too much. So I usually pick header three, but regardless of the size of the header text, what this means now is I've created a header or essentially a section, which means that I can actually just collapse this header and everything directly underneath it will be collapsed as well. So if you think about a complicated quip document where you may be writing notes for particular meetings or something along those lines, you can suddenly make it more dynamic and make it much easier to read through. And here I've got multiple headers, but if you go to the right side, there's an additional navigation menu here. So if you think about a document that might be huge ongoing and might have a hundred sections in it, you could easily just scroll through and then click to go to the one you want to look into.